Hey everybody, Alex Bigley here again. Two in a row, two 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 weeks in a row here doing the I hate uh, I hate I eat weird crap. Not I hate weird crap. <laughs> I actually like weird food. For those of you who don't know, never seen this before. I have a very open mind when it comes to food. Uh, what most people consider weird in America is not weird in other country, other countries, other parts of the world. So, very open mind. Because because if you have an open mind when it comes to food, you might actually find something that's incredibly awesome. Or you might find something that's incredibly... <laughs> we'll find that out today. Today's little uh, little little something or other here, we have uh, another round of these Cracker Nuts, which are dill pickle flavor. These are actually the first ones I found. I, the other ones I, got, I had last week, in case you didn't see it, go look at it. Uh, I found the Chipotle ones uh, first. Actually, I, I found those first. I can't even remember my own continuity here. What actually happened? These I found second, so I figured, what the heck, try these because of the pickle pop incident. Uh, <clears throat> and then I uh, went to the Asian market and I found some things. These are rice ball, uh, cuttlefish flavored rice balls. So I'm assuming these are sort of like crispy kind of rice uh, cake sort of dealies. Um, some more fish here. This is uh, taro fish snack Bar BQ flavor, uh, little stringy, fishy bits. So I'm assuming this might end up tasting like that big smeg off squid snack I had uh, last last week. And then I found these as odd, odd uh, kind of a flavor here. This ice cream creations chewy chips ahoy root beer float flavor. So that. And then I, I am literally going to save this for last because of what it is. This is preserve, preserved duck eggs. Black preserved duck eggs. Um, which, these, these, this isn't exactly like airtight, this container. So I stuck it in my trunk because I had to go do some other things. It wasn't long. It was sort of in the evening, so it wasn't as hot. Oh boy. Cracked up in my trunk. I'm like, what the heck's leaking? Something leaking? What leak? I'm like, I got a couple fishy things in there. What the heck is this? And then I, when I got it home, I started smelling each individual item. And this, oh boy, that's that's a smell. A smell like it, you. Uh, oh, there it is. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. That's like uh driving past the uh, landfill. That's, no, that smells more like a fart. Uh, this is dumpster behind the uh, restaurant kind of smell. <laughs> All right, first things first, let's try these uh, pickle nuts. And uh, <clears throat> try these bad boys here, which I'm assuming they're gonna kind of look like the other ones except for it's sort of greenish, which they're smart, it would. Oh, yeah, they do. See? Sort of green. And they're kind of moist. A little more moist feeling than the uh, than the Chipotle one, so. Of course, they smell of uh, dill pickle. Actually, did dill is overriding the pickle smell. Hmm. Wow. There's like a flavor dust on them. Very acidic tasting. Very vinegary. Um, does have the dill pickle flavor. Again, dill, more dill than pickle. Which I wouldn't mind if it was like creamy dill. <clears throat> Excuse me, I should have grabbed, <clears throat> grabbed a bottle of water and I didn't. Um, there was a, a, a grocery store I used to work for that used to make dill dip. Phenomenal stuff. Hey, that'll dry the crap out of your throat if you're not careful eating it. Let me get a couple more. There we go. Oh, that's too many. I don't want that much. Okay. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Tremendous thanks. All right, on to the cuttlefish uh, rice balls. And where's my snippy snips? My snip snip right there. 
And if I made that kind, if I made that phrasing correct, then tell me where I got it from. If if I didn't get it correct, then ignore it. <laughs> Man, what is up with this? Yeah, that's. <clears throat> I need to stay away from the fishy things. <laughs> they uh, sort of hollow sounding. Sort of like um, yeah. I've seen these in stores, it's like a black uh, bag, similar, sort of similar looking to this, but it's black and it has like uh, rice crackers and like soy sauce flavored and kind of stuff like that. That's what these kind of feel and sound like, except for they're puffed up and round, so. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a fishy stink to it, so. Let me get three so nobody makes a stupid kind of it. And I just dropped one of my balls on the floor. Shut up. Childish internet jerks. Anyway, so I have three, alright? So you people, this make me sick. Okay. Sorry, the flavor just kind of, woo! Um, the consistency of the, of the rice ball itself is sort of like that of like cheese 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 poof balls. Um, oh, and there's some spice. Hello, spice. After 20 minutes, after I got finished eating the bleeding thing, pick my ball off the off the floor. <sighs> Shut up. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, the the taste is, is sort of sweet and it's got a spice to it. Again, spice doesn't want to show up late to the party, like you know some of the other things I tried last week. <laughs> I'm gonna try a couple more here. So. I just bit the underside of my tongue. How do you do that? It does have a fish taste to it, but it's it's got this sort of almost like cereal sweetness. So it's like, you know, Kellogg's frosted fish chunks or something. It's just and then, and then there's spice. It's like, oh, oh, you, you've got the flavor out of your mouth? You know, 20 minutes later, I'm here! So, all right, on to the um, shredded fish snack. Now he's like looking forward to this. Not after that big smug off thing of squid meat I had. F squid jerky that I had uh, last week. That was, that was, that was something. <laughs> I don't know if that's the bad, not the worst thing I've had, but wasn't the best either. Oh man, it smells just like that, <laughs> just like that big old uh, squid thingy. Oh man, <clears throat> like fish food, and you're both right. So this is like you know, big league chew for Thailand, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Please forgive me. Anybody who was offended by that, I, I am sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm a dumb, dumb American. I know this. So this is, you know, it is what it is. It smells like fish. Looks strippy, strip strips. Anyway, so that, that much, I don't know how much that is, but anyways, I'm eating it. It's like fish jerky again. It's just a little bit sweeter. Because it's supposed to be barbecue flavor. And your barbecue is different from ours. A little bit of spice. Let me see. Fish meat 80%, barbecue seasoning, bar B Q, B A R hyphen B hyphen Q. Seasoning 5.2%. Sugar. Tapioca, tapioca, yeah, I know how to, I, know, I, I am know how to read, good. Tapioca flour, wheat flour, salt, soy sauce, and, uh, oh, MSG, because we care about your stomach lining. No preservatives, what does make you call friggin' MSG? Um, allergen information contains fish. You got the big word fish there. 
We got a fish here. We got a big smegging picture of a fish. Of course, it contains you know beef and beef byproducts. You know that's. Then again, we, we, you know, hold on. Was this was this? No, oh, product of Thailand. Yeah, I got that. But where is this? Uh, oh, okay. I thought maybe this was manufactured in America. You know, because you know, uh, you know, us Americans, we're intelligent. We're still super smart that we have to put caution hot on the side of a smoking cup of coffee. Is that everything? No, I have a drink. I have a drink. <laughs> I don't have to get to the duck okay, egg yet. And I got the chips, chip, chippy chips. Oh, wait. <clears throat> so, this is uh, a Thai tea drink. So, this is Thai tea by Foco. And, uh, mm, pardon me. Bibida de Te Taliandas. So, <laughs> no idea what I just said. Uh, shake it up just because. Crack this can of stuff open here. Oh, that's, that's, that's. Not a tea look. That's like a chocolate milk look. That's actually like 1% chocolate milk looks like. It actually kind of smells like yoo It smells like yoo Okay, let's time to look at see what the heck's in this. Water, sugar, milk powder, tea extract, um, F, D, and C, yellow number six, because, you know, the other numbers weren't that good. Uh, in, 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 in parentheses, E10, E as coloring. Allergy advice contains milk powder. Okay. So apparently it is Yoohoo, but it's, it's tea milk? I don't know. Cheers. Well, that's kind of uneventful. It's like black tea and milk. If if you who made a tea flavor. Now, how this would taste hot? I don't know. What imagine it'll taste any good? The main reason why I say that is because it seems to be made with like concentrated flavors, and I tried reheating tea. Not a good idea because when anytime you reheat anything, if you boil it or microwave it it takes away some of the moisture and it, and it dries it out and it it kind of slightly thickens it so I'm sort of getting at from this this isn't bad I wouldn't probably drink it on a regular basis I might actually actually that would be really good as like a slushy just saying <sighs> what this I'll, do, I'll do this before I do this Get that out of here. And I have a plate because I'm gonna cut this open, then I'm gonna open the egg, and then I'm gonna cut the egg in half so we can see what it looks like on the inside. I apologize I'm not staying in frame. Oh that was a wonderful whoa oh, no. Did I just see something crawling in here? I hope that was just some random piece of something. I'm not going to open this up and have things <laughs> coming out at me. Friggin' aliens spawn going to jump on my face and lay eggs in my mouth. Oh boy. I mean, open that. It's just. Oh my goodness. That, that's a. Well, that explains it. A couple of these are broke. I don't think you can tell that there. A couple of these are broken. I am not going to go after the ones that are broken. That explains the smell. Oh my goodness, it's just terrible. It's one of the ones that are broken. 
Oh my goodness. That's just unpleasant. And they're, they're the two in the middle. And there's six in here. I don't know why, but there's six in here. I'm trying to find one that doesn't seem to be infected with black goo. Yeah, I don't... I don't know what I saw, what I thought I saw crawling in here, but... Yeah, that's... I, I don't smell that anymore. Actually, I do. Dang. <laughs> I don't think I don't smell it anymore, which probably means I'm, I'm immune to it at the moment. Because I start smelling something enough, and it goes away. So I'm going to reposition the camera, and you're going to see me try not to barf. Okay, here's the egg. Now, I've also... I don't know if this is the right thing or not, but I've also... The woman I, I spoke to at the store said that these are often called thousand-year eggs. So I don't know if that's actually what these are um, or not. So let's try to get this. Dang. It's kind of loose inside. <laughs> Gordon Bennett. There we go. Already, that looks wonderful, doesn't it? <laughs> a little membrane, a little eggy membrane that's usually on the back end of an egg. And just, just, I'm trying to get in frame here so I can see, smelling it. Actually, the smell of it isn't that bad. It smells kind of like dirt, but it, it don't smell that bad. So, yeah, it just looks like someone really overcooked the smeg out of an egg, I tell you. It, um,. I don't know what they do to these to preserve them, but man, is that, it's sort of, well, it's gelatinous, but that's, you know, that's what eggs are, so, look at the inside of that eggshell, it's bespeckled, and I have eggy bits all over, oh, this is slimy, it's all smeg too, alright, um, on camera here, I'm going to cut that open, and so you can see what the inside of this oh and here's what here's interesting the white of it it's sort of like a translucent red that's odd so there's there's the strata of what that looks like and you can see the redness kind of poking through the uh the, the quote-unquote white part of the egg. All right, now I'm gonna reposition the camera so you can see me eating it. I got egg goo all over my hands here. So, I think I'm a trusty bucket standing on standby here. Uh, thank you, wonderful assistant, for giving me. So, it just smells like a little bit funky, but all right. You know what? Ment it's all mental. It's all mental. It's all mental. All right. This is a delicacy. This is something people eat on a semi-regular basis. Now, when I actually spoke to the woman at the, uh, at the at the at the market, she said that they usually, I guess, cut it up and put it in food. So it's possible I've eaten it. I don't even know. I'm going to try to take a bite out of the middle here so I can get a little bit of yolk and a little bit of white and here's to it. I bought these dang things. They were like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to, I just got to psych myself up here.
Just like egg fish. Do you take the fishy, st fishy taste of the other stuff I've eaten and put it in a boiled egg? That's it. It's not that bad. A little bit of dirt taste to it. Now, given the fact that there's two broken in there, I don't know if that's done anything to this, if it tainted it in any way. There's sort of an aftertaste coming on me that's uh, not quite pleasant. I'm going to go for some water. Mm. So, um... Yeah, it's, you know what, what the heck, ow. I mean, Italy, that, that last bit was a mistake. <clears throat> I'm going to have a fun time brushing my teeth later. <clears throat> I got the yolk like in between my teeth and my gums. I mean, my gums and my, my cheek. It sort of has. There's a slight um, mold taste. Especially in the in the yolk. Um, not bad. I can see it as an acquired taste. I can see how this can probably make somebody gag. But in, out of everything I bought, I thought this was going to be the one thing that might make me completely go and fill the bucket. Oddly enough, not. I, I, am I that weird in my in my sense of taste that uh, that doesn't even really bother me that much? And again, the fun the fun fun time will be, you know, will, will come tomorrow morning when you know all this stuff gets processed. So on to the uh, chips Holy root beer float flavor thing here. You know what? I'm gonna hate myself for doing this, but I gotta go wash my hands because I do not want to touch those with that so okay everybody uh, back here um, got the root beer float and my hands are just smell a lot better now <laughs> so root beer float cookies so there's what they look like and oh well, they smell like root beer it, got, it has that sort of tangy, tangy bite smell to it so and of course wonderful baked goods so Oh, that's what they look like. Not too different from the packaging. So, yeah. You know, it's amazing. It does taste like Rupert Float, but It's like gingerbread root beer. Th that's what I'm getting from this. And dang, them, them eggs are stinking the, all the smeg over there, man. I'm going to have to, like, fume again. I'm going to have to get, like, a, one of them bug fogger tops and pop it on top onto, like, a, a can of Febreze spray and just, like, I had this sitting in my fridge since last week because I'm totally not making this the same day as I did the other one. And I was going to mix that into some of this tea drink here. I think it's about even, equal parts there. So, no. <laughs> ah, it tastes like blood. Ugh. 
Oh my goodness, it tastes like blood. How does that even happen? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, well there you go. I made blood drink. Hey, you go. Uh, you know, Star Trek fans. You know, if you want to, if you ever want to try blood wine, you know, get these two, mix them together, and then put some booze in it. <laughs> Klingon blood wine. There you go. All right. Uh, <laughs> with that said, folks, if you enjoyed the video, do everything you need to do to let me know that you liked it, and uh, we'll see you in the future whenever I get a chance to buy more weird stuff and try it on camera. So, thanks for watching. Find more great videos and blogs at manicexpression.com. Appreciate the help. Don't be impatient. Give me, no, <laughs> Goes to give, give me a paper towel and then he uses that hand with the paper towel in it to pull up his pants in the back, which makes it look like he's wiping his butt with it. That was great. It's hard. <laughs> All right, anyway.